Okay, welcome to our lab connecting to our router. I've mentioned in the video you need your console cable and the USB converter cable, which you'll plug the console cable into your console port and the USB cable into your laptop or PC. I recommend you use PuTTY for your terminal program, which you can download from putty.org. And then, however, you access it, if you open Device Manager, once you've plugged your console cable in and any, installed any drivers, and then you should be able to go to common LTP ports and see which port the driver has allocated, which COM port. When you've done that, if you go to your PuTTY that you've installed, run, you've got a few different options here. We're not going to be Telnet in or login or SSH in. So we'll click on serial and just delete the number one and replace it with the number seven in my case, which is the one I was allocated. So there's no config on this router and in fact the setting was 0x2142 so what that means is the router is going to boot and ignore the configuration. You need to press the enter key a few times to make sure you do get a prompt. Make sure the router's turned on. I'm just going to go to my settings from the menu, just right click the menu and go to appearance. 10 points a little small for me. So I like to bold and go to 14. You can change the background colours as well if you wish. And then we can have a, a better view of our screen here. So I'm at the router greater than prompt, which is user mode. I pressed question mark and you can see all the commands we have available. It enables the command that we normally use at this prompt. I've got the more sign at the bottom and I just press the space bar which gave me access to the next uh, next set of commands or outputs on the screen. So I'll just hit show and then question mark. If you use question mark it gives you all of the available commands you have. Ninety five percent of all the available available commands you won't actually see. Now I was looking for the show um, run or show start, which you can't see because enable mode is quite a restricted version. Instead of typing enable, I can type em. Hit the question mark and it will fill out the rest of the command for you or tell you what's available. So for E, I've got four commands. If I type en and then press the tab, it will fill in the command for me because there's only one available command that starts with the letters E and N. So I've typed EN for short, pressed enter, and now I'm in privilege mode. And you can see the greater than arrow has been replaced by the pound key. Now I've issued the show V and you can see there's several commands available. Now I'll type show version, which is the full command, but the router's pretty smart. And if there's only one available command that you have the first few letters available, then you can just press uh, enter with those uh, letters showing. Show version is a really handy command. It shows you your iOS, your exact flash image that you have installed on the router or switch. The last reload type is just underneath that. It's telling me I've got a cryptographic image on this router. K9 means it's a secure image. I press the space bar which shows me the rest of the screen just scrolls over to the next amount of output. How much DRAM I have installed. How many fast ethernets. My serial interfaces. Got a one VPN module. How much DRAM. Oh, sorry, the DRAM configuration. How much non-volatile RAM. And then how much flash I've got installed. You can see the serial number of the chassis if you ever get asked to send that if you need a Cisco support case or whatever. Configuration register you can see is 0x2142. So every time the router boots it will boot and ignore the startup config. Show IP interface brief is a very useful command. You can shorten it. Show IP int brief. 
is a shortened version of that command and it'll tell you how many interfaces you have on here if it's up or down and what the IP address is it won't show you the subnet mask and other information such as interface resets or errors you can see that it's unassigned at the moment there's nothing actually being configured on this router so this is why everything's blank Just issue a few show commands now. Show clock will show you the current clock settings on the router. Show and then space question mark. A lot more show commands available in privilege mode because you've gone past the very basic user mode. You can pr keep pressing space bar obviously to scroll through all the commands. If you've had enough, just hit the letter Q and it will come out of the scroll and go back to where you were before you entered the show command. I'm just going to show you a couple of different commands. Show processes CPU. You're sometimes asked to uh, send that to Cisco if your router's running low and they can tell what's taken up CPU processing time. Show memory space question mark. I'll just have a look at the summary. Have a play with these commands when you're logged into your own router. Show Diags a troubleshooting command you may be asked to enter. Just tells you how many slots you have, MAC addresses, what the state of the, the slots and modules are that you have on your router. I'll just press Q to come out of that again. I don't want to see all the different outputs. Show history shows you the last 10 commands that have been entered. Handy if somebody else has been using the device. You can actually increase the size of the buffer, the history buffer. Okay, show interfaces serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. You have a look on your router on the show IP interface brief to see what your available interfaces are. You can see mine's administratively down. Maximum trans transmission units, the bandwidth on the interface, the encapsulation type. Also see interface resets, resets which indicate uh, there could be an issue. DCD down means there's no carrier detect, you can't detect a, a signal on the interface. I don't actually have anything plugged into this one which is why. Show controllers command is very useful for the serial. It tells you if there's a cable attached and what type of cable it is, like DTE, DCE cable. Very useful for troubleshooting at home and in the actual exam. Next, I'll add the config. Now, you do configure space terminal longhand or conf space t short, uh, for the shortened version there's really nothing, nothing to be gained by doing all the long commands to be honest so now you can see we're in router config mode this is where we can start doing our configuration commands I'm going to change the host name of the router from router to r1 and you can see now it's dropped into r1 where it previously said router I can type exit now and it will drop me back one mode. So whatever mode you're in it will drop you to the previous mode. I can also hold, hold down the control key and press Z. That will drop me back down to privilege mode. So I can drop down a mode each time with exit or all the way back down. I've typed line space question mark and it showed me the different types of line available. Main ones are VTY and console that you'll be concerned with. VTY is for Telnet sessions, terminal sessions. Console is what I've got my cable plugged into. 
I'm going to use the command logging synchronous that basically that stops any informational messages from interrupting while I'm typing it can get really annoying so it will wait until I finish typing uh, to show me the the informational message which is interface up interface down things like that exits drop me down one mode and then exit is drop me back down into privilege I could have just held down control and Z DIR flash and I use the tab key press the tab and it will finish off the command for you and you can see what iOS version I have actually installed on the flash you can have other um, files inside flash next was the show run short for show running dash config show startup or show start shows you the startup configuration of which I have none on this router and that's the end of the welcome lab thanks for watching